With so many robot mowers on the market these days, it's hard to know what sets them apart, but today we're going to be unboxing and doing a short review of an up and coming product by Air Seekers called the Tron 1. We're excited to get the Tron 1 out of the box and onto the lawn, and to be very upfront with you, Air Seekers give me an opportunity to get a sneak peek of this uh, product. It's in the beta stages. Uh, this is not a final product, but allows me to show you guys the problems that they're working on solving in the AI robot mower industry. I'm really excited to share this with you. Air Seekers Tron 1 is capable of mowing a surface area of up to one acre, capable of climbing slopes up to 40 degrees, has a built-in rain sensor sending it back to its charging station if it rains. It includes a secure, smart anti-theft system with GPS tracking, and it'll even notify you if it leaves the area. Now it's IP66 water resistant, which is the highest level of waterproof protection. Comes with a five camera optical sensing system called Vision, and is capable of heights of cut that range from 1.2 inches on up to three and a half inches. So whether you like your grass short or tall, the Tron one does it all. Now let's take a closer look under the deck of the Air Seekers Tron one. Now this is the beta version and is subject to change. I wanna make that very clear, but these guys are always thinking. Right off the bat, you're going to see this raking system. This may or may not be in the final product depending on how testing goes. They're just trying to figure out better ways of keeping rocks, sticks, and debris off of the cutting surface. It's got your standard seven inch cutting deck and it's also got the razor blades for cutting. Now these blades, in my opinion, need to be changed out about every four weeks. But the biggest issue that we have with all robot mowers is the frequency at which you have to run them. So Air Seekers is trying to figure out ways that you could run these machines less, put less miles on it so the machines last longer. So they did a couple of things. Number one, they put two razors, one on the bottom, one on the top for extended mulching. Now, in order to take advantage of this, what they did is they installed a high lift blade right here to create a vacuum. So that way this mower acts like a true mulching system. They are the only ones on the market doing this. And I think it's a fantastic idea. Now, as a result, the Tron one vacuums the grass upright. So you get a very clean cut and simultaneously the grass clippings are sucked into the dual blade chamber to be chopped repeatedly until fine enough to enter the ground as fertilizer. Setup of the Tron one is extremely fast. It comes with the Tron one a charging station, and an optional RTK antenna. And yes, it said optional, we'll get into that in just a little bit. Traditional mowers require you to set up a boundary. Matter of fact, that's what we're gonna do through the software right now. Now, Air Seekers is committed to making this a set up free device, meaning you pull it out of the box and it sets its own boundaries on its own. And they are fully committed to getting that done by its launch this June and July of 2024. Now I wanna talk about the Air Vision system. Those cameras, those sensors on the front of the actual mower. The cameras provide a 300 degree visual perception, which means a relatively small yard or those under 5,300 square feet, the mower will run autonomously out of the box with just the five Air Vision cameras without an additional RTK satellite antenna. The 300 degree visual perception provides obstacle avoidance at the highest level and also gives it the ability to self map up to one acre Lastly, the wider field of view the cameras offer allows the Tron 1 to map out the edges of the lawn within centimeter level accuracy on its own without relying on an RTK antenna. Pretty much allowing the robot to mow anywhere. Now, when it comes to antennas like the RTK system, now if you have a lawn that's above 5,000 square feet or just a ton of different transition and changes throughout your lawn, the RTK antenna is going to be a necessary purchase. Combining the RTK on larger lawns ensures better accuracy and stability in combination with the built-in air vision system. And because of the visual capability of the cameras, it also compensates for weak RTK signals, allowing coverage in every corner. My property is a little bit of a nightmare situation because of these tall walls and tall trees that I have. 
putting an antenna against the wall that has to be connected to power is not ideal. You don't want to be running a power cable across the grass to get to an ideal location for the antenna. Now the best locations for the antennas are in open spaces, so that way the signal isn't ruined by the houses and the trees. And what I can tell you, when you have an RTK based robot mower, it lives and dies by the eye in the sky, which means most of these robotic mowers are now recommending that the antennas go on top of the roof, but Air Seekers Tron found a different way. So the engineers at Air Seekers thought to themselves, hey, we can solve this problem very simply by just slapping a rechargeable battery on the antenna. Now this may seem like such a simple solution, but nobody else is doing it. Seekers wanted me to make it very clear, this is not a finished product, but look at this, This is it's this easy. We just plug it in. Now, I can put the antenna anywhere I want in the yard. Accuracy of most AI robot mowers comes down to the RTK unit. And this is such a simple solution that nobody's offering right now. And I absolutely love it. This option is included in the RTK antenna when you purchase it. Now the setup is done, let me share with you a few things I learned about the machine. The machine cuts the grass in a traditional mowing pattern. Now it also changes the direction it mows after completing each mow to minimize rutting in the soil. Cutting and cut quality at 1.2 inches was good and I was able to easily adjust the height to mow the backyard at 2 inches. Now the time that I had with the mower was very limited but I had no issues with the mower going out of bounds and it worked its way around the trampoline with ease. Air Seekers guaranteeing that even in complex backyard scenarios like mine, the device can efficiently plan routes, leaving no blind spots behind. And as far as the application functionalities go, you can set up no-go zones, change height of cut, set up multi-zone capabilities, and channel regions, and a few additional options. So we're gonna let this robot be autonomous and get into the cutting. Same time, I wanna see how well the obstacle avoidance and the vision technology is working. So I set out my dog treat tin, some cauliflower, a wine glass, and a couple of bagels. Let's play a game, shall we? Called avoid the obstacle. Let's start out with the cookie jar. Next up is the cauliflower test. Whoa, that was pretty good. Next up, the wine glass. Ooh. Next up on the list is the bagel test. We're gonna stack them too high to begin with. Oh, that's kind of exciting. Every single robot mower I've done with the bagel test has failed. Let's get it down to one bagel. No way. <laughs> this is the first time a robot mower has avoided two bagels, one bagel. Let's find something else. I'm gonna grab a hot dog. All right, size for reference. Size in this instance matters. Oh, wiener down. So ladies and gentlemen, we have found its limits and it's six, it's one inch. So albeit the hot dog test has failed, but this is really, really impressive. Just the fact that we can have an object the size of a bagel on the line, have an object detect, say this vision is next level. When it comes to the amount of noise that this machine is producing, we're gonna get real, real close here. It's still relatively quiet, but it does have a little bit more of a fan noise just due to the high lift blade. But I've been told the company's also working on this because some of this noise is actually coming from the motor itself and they're claiming it's gonna be 30% quieter. Now this is super permissible. It's still a thousand times quieter than any regular rotary mower. Let's talk about them tires, shall we? <laughs> These are omnidirectional tires and they put them on the front so it can allow it to really swing left and right, almost like doing a zero turn without having to do a three or four point turn. I was very pessimistic about this style tire because we've had this style tire on some of the 
other robot mowers and they didn't perform well. Front tires are kind of zigzag left to right. After talking to the engineers, they specifically noted that they looked into this and they felt like the pitch of the tires was either too aggressive or not aggressive enough to take full advantage of the omnidirectional tires. They settled on pitching their tires at 30 degrees and right now she's running straight as an arrow. As a matter of fact, it's really helping it steer itself and really pull in a zero turn on the edges, which is beneficial because it's not gonna dig into my grasp. Now, if you're a lawn care enthusiast and you just absolutely love to have your lawn striped, well, guess what? Air Seekers thought of that too, and they put a stripe kit on the Tron 1. The optional roller attached for the Tron 1 uses a spring-loaded fitting to apply downward pressure to the roller, limiting the amount of weight it has to pull. Due to the seven inch cutting deck, the striping program is completed on a separate runtime from the cutting program, so you can get a much wider stripe. Now, I estimated the roller is about 14 inches in width. Now, the potential downsides to the style of stripe kit are the stripes are not as heavy or dark when the heights of cut get below two inches. So my suggestion to air seekers is to have an option to burn in the stripes by going over the same pattern multiple times. Now, had you asked me in 2024 that I'd be striping my lawn with a robot mower all by its lonesome, I'd have told you that you were crazy, but here we are. Aside from the traditional mow stripe patterns, Air Seekers is currently developing a custom mow striping module for the Tron 1. What that means is this will allow you to choose and make custom lawn patterns of your choice. Now, initially it's gonna be pre-programmed shapes such as circles and flowers. Now, aside from the striping module, Air Seekers is also developing an edge cutting module. They're dialing in their vision system to accurately pinpoint where the grass meets the border, thus eliminating the need to weed whack. I think it's safe to say that the Air Seekers Tron 1 is a fully loaded machine, even in the beta form. I've been really pleased with it. Between the height of cut difference of 1.2 inches on up to three and a half inches, it's got dual cutting blades with a high lift to make sure that it mulches properly. It's even got a stripe kit to it. If you're interested in the Air Seekers Tron 1, check it out on Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description of the video. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time, guys, the Pest and Lawn Ginger. We're slaying lawn.